Hey everybody, so I wanted to talk about some stuff. Uh, I don't think it's going to be nearly as long as the last update video I did, which was like 30 minutes long. But I wanted to talk about some stuff that I'm thinking about getting for the channel and stuff like that. Because now that I have a job again, it's a lot easier to get stuff for my content. And uh, there's a couple of things that I wanted to talk about and other ideas that I wanted to do too. Uh, the first thing is, is that... Let's talk about the ideas first. So uh, I've been kind of thinking about what I want to do for the rest of this year because uh, it's been a pretty good year for my YouTube channel. I hit 200 subscribers, so thank you guys so much for that. It really means a lot to me. But I've been thinking about what I'm going to be doing for the rest of this year, and uh, I'm actually kind of not sure what I want to do because uh, I've done already most of the video ideas I talked about in the last update video in these pa past few videos like i did uh the show these video but i made it into a vlog and i think that was the right choice because like i was in branson anyway so i just decided to film some stuff in branson and vlog 15 is probably my favorite vlog i've done so far in the series because like it's actually different compared to the previous vlogs i did so um, I've been thinking about what vlogs I want to do in the future and stuff because, like, I remember I mentioned in the now deleted video of 200 subscriber announcement, I said a lot of stuff that I thought was kind of stupid for me to say. Like, I still kind of agree with the fact that I need to have more of a niche at some point when my channel grows to a, a point where it needs that because my content varies on so many levels. And it's just so hard for me to go down to a specific niche that I wanted to do. Like, it's pretty difficult. So, I'm not going to have that planned right now because this is just, like, something I don't need to do right now. But, yeah, so, vlogs are going to be continuing. On my next vlog, I'm not sure what I'm going to do because, actually, there is a couple ideas. Uh, the first thing is, is that I want to show off my Kylo Ren costume because it's all complete uh, because I did a Kylo Ren, well, that was voice crack, I did a Kylo Ren costume around two years ago, and it sucked, it did not, it, it really was not good, the lightsaber carried my, my costume, but, uh, like, the Kylo Ren costume that I have this year is a lot better, and you're probably saying, Zion, why are you trick-or-treating at 20 years old, and I'm probably asking myself the same question, because, like, <laughs> like, it just, it's kind of more fun and exciting to go trick-or-treating instead of just buying candy from the store. Because with trick-or-treating, you don't know what you're going to get, even though the candy might suck. And I really like seeing, like, the other decorations of the houses and stuff like that. But, uh, maybe in this next vlog that I will do, I'll show off my Kylo Ren costume like I did in vlog 5, where I showed off my Darth Vader costume. And I think it's even better than the Darth Vader costume because, like, it's kind of crazy because, like, I actually recycled or I used some of the same stuff I used in my last year's costume to have the Kylo Ren costume this year, which is so useful because, like, I don't want to have to buy everything again. Like, I have the cape still, I have all the gloves, or both of the gloves, I have a black long sleeve shirt now because for a while I would just use that hoodie. Uh, Dave and Buster's hoodie that I would just put inside out so it would be black. But I realized that it was just so hot. Like, especially with walking around and walking miles for trick-or-treating, it didn't work. So, yeah. So, with the Kylo Ren costume, I used a lot of the stuff that I used with the Darth Vader costume last year. And that's probably a smart choice because I used, like, you know, the boots and stuff like that. Uh, so, there's a couple of things I got from this Kylo Ren costume. I got a mask, which I was originally going to get a helmet, a high quality one, but holy crap, they're like $300. Like, I mean, I know that they're high, highly like professional and stuff, and they're almost like movie replicas, but I was like, there's no way I'm spending $300 on a helmet. I mean, to be fair, I did spe spe or spend 300 light. No, I did spend $300 on a lightsaber, but that was two years ago before I had a job, so I've been a lot more cautious about what I'm going to be spending. So, uh, yeah, I got a Disney Store mask, and uh, I also got a voice changer, because the voice changer 
on a Disney mask sucks. Like, it's just, I mean, most of us do. Actually, the Darth Vader one that I used last year wasn't too bad. But, I mean, especially for that Darth Vader mask being 10 years old. So, or maybe more than 10 years old. Like, I think it was 2008 when I got it. So, like, 15 years old, probably. But, yeah. So, uh, Kylo Ren costume I'm going to be showing off probably in my next vlog. Um, I might... I'm not sure because I might go to Spirit Halloween because I have a couple other stuff that I might want. Like, a belt or something like that. Or I just might go to Spirit Halloween to show off the animatronics. Because, uh, like... Spirit Halloween, I usually don't buy stuff from there because it's kind of more pricey than, like, Walmart or, like, Amazon. But I do like going there for, like, animatronics and stuff because even though I know I'm not going to buy them, it's just so cool when you have that activator that you step on it and then you see them uh, turn on. That's really cool. So I might show that off a little bit in my next vlog. But the weird thing is, is I couldn't find it in the Sears last year. When I did a vlog, I think it was vlog 6, uh, I couldn't find it. So maybe I'm just dumb and I didn't see where it was. Because in Springfield, there are two different Spirit Halloween locations that are now open. There's one in the Battlefield Mall where Sears was. And then there's uh, the one uh, right next to the old Bad Bath & Beyond. Which it's not in Bad Bath & Beyond, but I don't even... It's like by that Primrose Marketplace thing which I filmed before, and I think it was vlog 10, um, yeah, that one is not very good, the one by Primrose, because it's so small compared to the ones that I've heard in Sears, in that old Sears, it's, the Sears is way bigger, or because of, like, the location being replaced by Spirit Halloween is a lot bigger, so, yeah, so I probably will go to one where the Sears used to be, because, like, I went to the one last year in Primrose, and it just kind of sucked. Because there's no animatronics, and they're too it's too small. So, yeah, so that's a couple things I might do for my future vlog. And vlog 16. Uh, actually, hmm, I, I might actually also go to the Goodwill in Ozark, even though I have done that before. But the thing is, they finally remodel it. Which, thank God, and I haven't been in there yet. But I will want to go in there at some point because like I heard it's way better now and it doesn't look like from the 90s and yeah I like stuff that likes from the 90s but I don't like it when it looks outdated and that Goodwill looked outdated for like 10 years and like I'm just so glad they remodeled it hopefully it looks good because it really needed it so um yeah that's kind of like a future vlog that I probably will do in the next like week or so um so when I said earlier about purchasing stuff for the YouTube videos, uh, I think I might purchase a camera, or I might buy a camera. So, uh, I've used pretty much my whole channel career, well, not career, but, like, my whole channel life I've used as iPhone 11. And uh, I think I'm kind of ready for something new, because I did say in the iPhone, uh, iPhone 15 video that I want to upgrade to a new iPhone, but I've kind of changed my tune a little bit, because, like, I think I would rather get a camera than a new phone, because, like, other than the camera not being very good on my iPhone 11, it still works good, it still works great, even though the battery life is a little sucky, but, like, I just, because of how expensive the iPhone 15s are, I've realized that I can get way better quality of camera in an actual camera. Now, I did say that I did in previous videos, I didn't want to do an actual camera instead of an iPhone camera because it would just be too complicated. But I look, I've been looking through the market and like, I don't know crap about like the aperture and like I like ISO and manual. Like, I don't know anything about that. So like, I kind of, what, what I want is, uh, is I want a camera that I could just use straight out of the box. I don't really have to change that many settings. Or I'm fine with changing settings, but I would have no idea what I'm doing. So, yeah, so I've been looking through a couple of cameras that I might buy. And now that I have a job again, it's so much easier. Because, like, yeah, I did have more money than I do right now uh, compared to last year. I had around $800 when I got fired. So, it's a lot more than I have right now. 
but I have around 450. Like, that's the most I've had in almost a year. And it's just so nice to support myself finally again. Um, so, I think there's a couple of cameras that I've considered getting. And I don't think I'm going to upgrade to a new phone. I think I've changed my mind because I probably will wait another one or two years. Because, like, the iPhone 11 Pro still works good other than the battery life and the camera. And I've been thinking about getting a camera and then fully transitioning to the new camera to uh, do my videos. Because I filmed almost every video since 2021 I filmed with an iPhone. And I think I'm kind of ready for something new because even though my recordings... Like, it says on the camera app that's 4K. This is not 4K. It can't be. Because, like, especially when I film in my room, like, I've always had a problem with the graininess and how terrible it looks. Like, especially some of those videos from last year. It, some of those videos look sucky. They just look so bad. And, like, maybe it's because of the lighting. But, like, I know for a fact it's not 4K even though it says it is, so I want a camera that's actually, like, actually clear, and I, like, I mean, like, my iPhone 11 Pro, when it's outside and I'm vlogging, it's not too bad, but it's when I have to go in dark places and low light that it sucks, especially when I did the, uh, Campbell's Maysays video where I filmed at nighttime, it looked so bad, like, it looked horrible, but, like, I just really want to change that. So, a couple of cameras that I've been considering getting uh, are, like, the... Oh, I think it's the Sony EV-10. It's on... I don't know the exact names, but uh, it's basically... That one's a little bit of a higher price. It's around $800, which I don't know if I want to spend that much. But, uh, like, what I'm trying to do is I don't want a heavy camera. I want something that's lightweight and small. Like, I mean, I know that some features might be stripped out of it because it's kind of a smaller and compact camera, but I want something small I could just fit in my pocket, and yeah, like, uh, that's one thing. And the camera that I'm heavily considering getting is, uh, I don't know if it's a Sony brand, but it's a ZV-1F, and it's specifically made for vlogging, and I love that because, like, I just really like that these big companies are realizing that a lot of these cameras people use to vlog. And, uh, like, it's just, like, that's the one I might get. Because that's around the $400 range. Which, especially for the amount of stuff it can do, that's a pretty good price. So, that's the one I might get. And, uh, like, with my next paycheck, my balance would go up to around $650 or $630. So... I probably would have enough money to get a ZV-1F. And I've heard a lot of positive things about it, especially for the price. And I just want something that will actually, like... Like, it's mainly a vlogging thing that I'm trying to fix. Like, I mean, like, not that my vlogs are bad. I mean, I think they're pretty decent. It's just, I want a camera that has good quality, especially in low-light situations... Because every time I filmed this iPhone at nighttime, it just sucks. So, uh, I want low light goodness. I want something that is good with low light. And with uh, this camera that I'm heavily considering getting, the ZV-1F, it has 4K 30 frames per second. And I've looked with the people who filmed it, like testing it, it looks so good. And I'm like, why does my phone not look like that? And actually, like, it's so crazy that nowadays, like, oh, there's a dog barking. But yeah, so, uh, like, I just don't think I'm gonna get a new phone. Or I, I'm, like, around a couple days ago, even, yeah, even a couple days ago, I'm like, I want a new phone. But I think I've changed my mind. Because, like, it, like, I've actually heard that a lot of the cameras that are not iPhones are actually better than iPhone cameras. Because, like... Yeah, like, the camera that I'm thinking about getting is 20 me or 24 megapixels. Me megapixels. I can't say that word. Um, but, uh, like, I mean, that's not great. 
but I mean, the Apple iPhones now have 48 megapixels, but like, I just, like, I want 4K, like, I mean, 1080p is fine, but 4K is what I want, and it's, I want to make my videos look as good as possible, like, even with the ones I'm sitting down, but one thing that I've mentioned, I think I mentioned in the 2023 YouTube Plans video, I want to be more, like, out in the world, and I've mostly done that, like, I've mostly fulfilled that promise, but not as much as I've wanted to, um, like, uh, like, yeah, I have come, done a couple of videos, like, going out in the world, like, Pier 39, which I think, that's, like, one of the biggest highlights of the year for me was that video, because, like, it just, like, up until that point, I did not vlog almost anything with a lot of people, and that was a big step forward for me, is to vlog with a lot of people around, but it was a little scary, not gonna lie, but I think I'm starting to get used to it a little bit more, but I mentioned in other videos that it's not that people are gonna judge me, it's more that I'm not allowed to film in certain places. Because with Walmart, you're technically not to film, supposed to film there. But they don't really enforce it. So, uh, like, I really want to... Like, in the next year of my channel, I want to go on the world more. I want to do more vlogs. Like, maybe not numbering the... Or, like, maybe not the vlogs, like, with the thumbnails right now. Like, I mean... I mean, I, do, I will continue those that vlog series, but there might be a possibility I might, hmm, like, I've thought about it for a while that I could maybe create another channel, but I don't know if that's going to happen because, like, I really just like, I like sticking to one specific thing, and that's how I work best with channels and stuff, like, and also, like, I don't want to have to run two at the same time, which might be overwhelming, but I've been thinking about it, but, uh, like, if I just really want a new camera, uh, like, especially that my phone is reaching four years, I think it already is four years old, and, like, I just feel like I could wait, I could probably wait another two years to get a new phone, like, it's just so weird that my mindset has changed ever since the iPhone 15 video, like, I remember I said that I might upgrade to the iPhone 15 Pro, but comparing the prices to a ZV-1F, like, I'm just like, I don't, it just, I don't know why I, like, it's like, like, every time a new iPhone comes out, it's the same pattern. Like, I think that I would like to upgrade, and then, like, it just goes away. Like, I'm like, okay, I'm fine with this phone. Like, it's happened for, like, four years now to where I want to... No, actually, it mainly started with the iPhone 13 line. Like, actually, funny story is uh, I actually did a vlog, or I filmed it, but uh, I didn't upload it. And it was because uh, I did this stupid thing where I was trying to trade in my phone and Verizon and open a new line with the iPhone 13 Pro in one terabyte capacity, it would have been, like, $1,600, and, like, oh, my God, like, my parents, like, they weren't absolutely mad at me, but they were very disappointed, because I had no, I didn't tell them at all, and, uh, like, I canceled the new line around, like, not very long after that, and I'm so glad I did, it because that would have been insane, so, uh, like, yeah, I think it's more and more likely that I'm going to be upgrading to a camera instead of upgrading to a new iPhone, because this iPhone could probably last me another one to two years. Like, I mean, like, it's kind of crazy because my grandma, like, up until last year, she was still using an iPhone 6S Plus, and that came out, like, 2015. So, like, I just want to use this iPhone until it just doesn't work well anymore, which I have noticed that this iPhone is starting to get laggy a little bit. I don't know if it's because of that controversy where Apple was purposely slowing down phones to get you buy them more. But, uh, like, it's just, like, I really, 
I just don't think I need to upgrade for another year or two. And, like, it's just the same pattern. Where, like, I'm like, wait. Like, ever since the 13 line, I'm like, wait. I can upgrade. And then, like, I just forget about it. And then I'm just like, I don't need it. I can wait another year. So, I don't think I'm going to upgrade this year. Um, Even though the iPhone 15... Like, the iPhone 15s have been the, the biggest changes in many years for the iPhone. But... It's, it just, it wouldn't be such a problem if just the iPhones were not costing a thousand dollars. It's just like, you might as well get a DSLR or something like that, which, like, I have considered getting a DSLR, but my main thing is videos. Like, yeah, I do take photos sometimes, but I do videos way more than I do photos. Like, yeah, like, I do want a decent photo camera and video, but videos are the 90% thing I do. Like, that's what I do, so, uh, yeah, so basically, uh, the ZV-1F, that's one that I might get in the next few weeks, like, I mean, I know that I can wait until Christmas, but I highly doubt, like, I love my parents, and I love my family, like, I can't live without them, but, like, I, they are probably gonna get me season passes for next year for Sodar City, so, I just don't wanna make them spend a lot of money, like, especially now that I have a job, there's basically no excuse. Because, like, with last year, it was a little different because I lost my job in August of last year. And I was devastated. And then, uh, I didn't have very much money. But, uh, like, and also, for Christmas, uh, like, uh, I think this will probably be the first year where it's a $20 minimum to buy for your siblings or for my siblings. Because, like... I've cheaped out a couple of times in the past five years. Like, it's just like, now that I have a job, I can't cheap out. Which I kind of like, because like, I've been thinking about getting a lot, or I've been thinking about getting some stuff for my brother and sister. Because, like, I kind of feel bad sometimes to where I feel like I cheap out on the gifts I give them. But I think it's a lot easier to buy... I'm sorry, Caleb, if you're watching this, but it's a lot easier to buy for Hannah, my sister, instead of Caleb. Like, I mean, I love both of them, but my brother is a lot harder to buy for. But I can't really say anything because I'm really hard to buy for. Like, I want stuff from, like, eBay. Like, eBay is the number one website that I use to buy stuff. If eBay did not exist, I would not have half of the stuff that I have in my room that I have. So, yeah, so, uh, like, I think I'm gonna get a camera. I think I'm gonna get the ZV-1F, and, yeah, it doesn't have, like, most of the features that some cameras do, but it's something that, like, I just really thought about doing a camera or getting a new camera for the longest time, but I used to want to get an iPhone camera, but, I just feel like nowadays, I kind of want a separate device, and also with more storage, because even though, like, yeah, I still have some storage on here, but especially with the video, like, image quality compared to what it could be, with more storage on a camera with, uh, like, 4K support, even though this says it's 4K, it's not, so, yeah, so I've been thinking about I, like, in the next few weeks, in the next month or so, I might get a new camera, and if I do, I will test it, and I will sh show you guys how it works and stuff, because it has a lot of stuff I think is really cool, like 4K support, and it has pretty, I, like, I've wa watched YouTube videos to where, like, the audio, audio quality is probably a little bit better than my iPhone, like, when I'm, like, really, like, vlogging pu public and, like, vlogging when it's windy, when it's windy, my phone mic sucks. Like, I mean, I did have a Rode microphone, but I can't find it. Like, I've looked all across my room. I've looked all the suitcase, and I can't find it. So, that sucks. But, uh, like, and the thing is, is that even if I did find that microphone, I couldn't use it because it's a lightning point of a headphone jack. So, it's kind of funny that, like even the newest cameras, like, still have headphone jacks, even though Apple doesn't, so, yeah, so, I, 
like in the next few months, I could probably, or not in the next few months, probably in the next month or so, I'm going to get a camera. Maybe. I've been thinking about it heavily though. So yeah. So, uh, overall, uh, vlogs will be continuing, uh, and I probably will get a new camera soon. So yeah. So I wanted to make this one a bit, sh one a little bit shorter. So yeah. Uh, see you guys later.